this is how the novel and its main question begin. At high tide, the sea lapped close to the dunes, leaving little sand to be seen. The remaining sand above the high tide mark was as fine as sifted salt. Spikes of marron grass grew from it like quills from a porcupine. No stones were visible. The small waves, white and grey, seized against their limits. How lonely it was, that wild coastline. When the tides began their retreat, they revealed first a line of pebbles, grey and black. The pebbles gleamed like jewels until the sun dried them, when they became as grey and inert as if they'd grown rapidly old and died. Occasionally, among the stones, lay a small dead crab, up to its turned-up belly, the respectable white of death. The pulse of the sea appeared to quicken. Its faltering waves had left the slopes of the beach and were now retreating over level territory. Venturing down to follow this august daily event, you found your feet sinking into the wet sand, and so you kept moving. The sand squelched with every step you took, turned pale, went dark, went slurp. <laughs>